So I was using this yesterday, and it um, started kind of running kind of strange. So I shut it off. I thought it was low on fuel, and uh, oh, it's been sneezing. And I've been, uh, I filled it up, and then it wouldn't start. I thought I flooded it, and I checked, and there's no spark. So I took the uh, pull start off, and I'm going to check the coils. This is what I found. Um, one of the one of the coils one of the wires looks like it's burnt open or something and these have a kill kill switch wire that um, it's, it's for both coils and it's got diodes blocking diodes so I'm thinking that I mean if you have you know the the wire goes to the coil so it's got when the coil fires it's got current in that kill wire and then when it's connected to ground it will it will ground out the the um, the coil but I guess you have to have a blocking diode because if the two kill wire kill switch wires are connected together um, it's going to generate a, a current in the other coil so possibly maybe something was wrong with the diode and it was just get, it got it was getting an overload. I don't know. But I'll find out. It doesn't look like it burned off. It looked like it's been worn off. Like it was rubbing against something. Like the the uh, fan, not the fan, but the there's nothing. There's nothing could rub against it. Because there's the start or the recoil, that's on top of this. That's weird. You know, the guy that I got this from, he, I got it for free, and um, he had a lot of chipmunks, and this thing was full of nesting material and the fins I had to clean it all out look this here's some stuff in there there's a, a part of a nut or something there's a whole bunch of those in this I think something was chewing on it I think something was like a rodent or something it does kind of look like it's got gnaw marks on it This is my um, kill wire from my Vanguard, my Briggs and Stratton Grant, <laughs> Briggs and Stratton Vanguard. That um, it, I'm getting no spark on it, and I have both coils off. The other coil, um, I don't know what happened to it, but I'm going to replace both of them because I need to get this generator up. I need to I want to do some welding and uh, I'm gonna test it the, this is the kill wire and what they did is they let's see if I can show it they have a diode right there and it should have a white line on it I think I saw it out in the out in the uh, daylight, and it has it has the part number. I mean, it has the dia, the type of dia. There it is. You can see it on the left. 
It also has the diode, the type of diode it is. I mean, you don't have to buy a... If the diode's bad, you can just... The, what's over top of it is this clear shrink tubing. Yeah, I mean, you can use black shrink tubing. There's no... Because when a diode goes bad, it's not like a fuse where you can look at it, you know. And um, all you have to do is test. So it doesn't matter if you use clear or black. But it also has the diode number. It's like... See, you can see the numbers... So you can just order a new diode or a couple of them or five or ten on eBay. But see the white line on the left, that's the anode, and that's negative. And the, the cathode's the part to the right, and that's positive. So if you put if you put your meter on uh, most most meters nowadays have diode test like that. That, that's what that symbol is right there. It's a diode. The triangle is the, the cathode and the... Um, no, <laughs> triangle is the... Uh, the triangle is the cathode. And the line is the... Um, is the um, anode. And that's negative. So to forward bias it, you put your... Um, you put your negative lead. You put your negative lead on here. And then you put your positive lead all the way back there on that. And that will forward forward bias it. And if you reverse the leads, it should be it should say OL, which is it's out of, that means out of loop. Which means it's not, whatever you're testing isn't viable. So let me, let me uh, test this, this diode. So we're going to put the negative where I said. You may have to scratch with the end to get it, to get through the clean metal. And then we're going to touch this. I'm going to test test the other. Um, see, both the leads come together. They have one. They have one ground connection. Both come to here. So you can put your positive for both of them on this, but then you got to put the negative on each each terminal. Each terminal like that. So I have to test this one now. And then I put the the positive on the, the positive. And a negative on the negative, and there's a little bit over half a volt, so it's a good, it's a good diode. And I'll reverse them, reverse, reverse the leads. Negative where I usually put the positive. And then the positive where the negative goes and stays in open loop mode, so it's a good diode. So let me find out what kind of diode that is. I'm interested in that. 